Uh, okay, we're ready to go whenever you are, sir. All right, good evening. I'd like to call this meeting to order. Can we please start with a roll call? Uh, Council President McIrvin. Council Member Prince. Here. Council Member Perez. Here. Council Member Vaughn. Here. Council Member Alverson. Here. Council Member Rivera. Here. Council Member O'Halloran. Here. Roll call, Mr. Mayor, one absent. Mr. Mayor. Yes. Council Member Prince. I move we excuse an absent Council Member. Second. It's been moved by Council Member Prince, seconded by Council Member Van, that the absent Council Member be excused. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. So tonight we're going to start off with yes, sir. Mr. Mayor. I'd like to make a motion to amend the agenda to add legislation. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Prince, seconded by Council Member Van, that the agenda be amended to add legislation. Yes. Uh, Ordinance 6061, moratorium for BESS. Yes, sir, I got it. You got it? Okay. Are we going to vote? Do we have to vote on that? Jason? Oh, yes, sir. Sorry. Okay. And it was 6061. 6061. Okay. Okay. It's been moved and seconded that the agenda be modified to include agenda 6061. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right. Thank you, Mr. All right. All right, we're going to start off tonight's meeting with a proclamation, and the first one up is Kalani Bolton Day. Okay, proclamation. Whereas, according to the American Lung Association, nearly 37 million Americans live with a chronic lung disease like asthma and COPD, including emphysema and chronic bronchitis. And whereas Kalani Bolton, who suffered from asthma, tragically lost her life too soon and had many interests and aspirations. And whereas Kalani enjoyed gymnastics, track and field, ballet and tap, spending time with her family, including fishing with her dad, playing basketball with her nephew, styling hair with her cousins, and the usual activities kids love, shopping, dancing, and music. And whereas Kalani and her family had plans for her future, such as getting a driver's license, attending high school and college, and becoming a pediatrician, and whereas Kalani serves as an inspiration to us all, proving that you can have an incredible impact and influence on your family, friends, and community. Now, therefore, I, Armando Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton, do hereby proclaim April 21st, 2022, to be Kalani Bolton Day in the City of Renton. And I encourage all citizens to join me in this special observance, in witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the City of Renton to be affixed this 18th day of April, 2022, signed Mayor Pavoni, Mayor of the City of Renton. Council Mayor Prince. I move the proclamation be adopted as read. Second. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Prince, second by Council Member Van, that the proclamation be adopted as read. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carry. And tonight to accept the proclamation is Kalani's mom, Christina Williams. Hello, Christina. Chris, oh. are Christina, you are you there? I'm trying to promote you to a panel lesson. Christina? Hello, Christina, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, would you like to say a few words? Uh, my sister would. Okay. Oh, oh, we have to promote uh, uh, Francis. Her hand is raised. Francis, you should be able to join as a panelist. Thank you. 
Hello, Francis. Can you hear us? I can. Can you hear me? I sure can. Yes. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so I just want to say on behalf of my sister, thank you to the city of Renton for acknowledging um, Kalani and what happened to her in the city of Renton and, and um, proclaiming April 21st Kalani Day. Um, on the back, behalf of our family, we thank you and we thank the council. Well, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, thank you for having us. Okay. Have a good rest of your night and I hope to talk to you soon. Perfect. Thank you. You as well. Okay. All right. The next proclamation is Arbor Day Earth Day. Okay, proclamation. Whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed that a special day be set aside for the planting of trees called Arbor Day, which is now observed through throughout the nation and the world. And whereas the city of Renton has been recognized as a Tree City USA since 2008 by the Arbor Day Foundation, and whereas trees reduce soil erosion, produce life-giving oxygen, increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business districts, improve wildlife and fish habitats, and contribute many other benefits. And whereas in 1970, Senator Gaylord Nelson introduced legislation designating a day in April as a national day to celebrate the earth and called it Earth Day. And whereas volunteers from neighborhood schools, businesses, and service clubs will have the opportunity to help the city of Renton celebrate Arbor Day and Earth Day this year at a city-sponsored event in Maplewood Park on April 23rd, 2022. And city staff will help mark the occasion by assisting with tree planting to help restore and beautify the urban forest. Now, therefore, I, Armando Pavoni, mayor of the city of Renton, do hereby proclaim April 23rd, 2022 to be Arbor Day Earth Day in the city of Renton. And I encourage all citizens to observe the occasion and join in our special and join in or participate in their own way and consider planting trees where they live. And witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the city of Renton to be affixed this 18th day of April, 2022, signed Armando Bavoni, mayor of the city of Renton. Mr. Yes, Councilor Prince. I move the proclamation to adopt as read. Second. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Prince, seconded by Councilmember Van, that the proclamation be adopted as read. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. And tonight to accept the proclamation is Urban Forestry and Natural Resource Manager Ian Gray. Good to see you, Ian. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mayor, council members, thank you so much for uh, presenting the proclamation. Uh, well received on this end. Thank you very much. Um, I have to say that it's going to be exciting to finally be able to plant some trees with uh, residents of Renton for the first time in a couple of years in Mark Arbor Day. Um, and I don't know if you're aware, but uh, this is the 150th anniversary of Arbor Day. And uh, it's also the 50th anniversary of the Arbor Day Foundation. And the Arbor Day Foundation, of course, is the entity that uh, renews our Tree City USA uh, status, um, 14 years going strong for the city of Renton. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Uh, of course, it's gonna be wet and rainy all week. <laughs> Fingers crossed that it's not too wet on the day. But uh, we're definitely looking forward to it. Uh, should be a good event. All right. Thank you very much. Good to see you again. OK, thank you. All right. And uh, last but not least is the proclamation where we stand in solidarity with Ukraine. A okay, proclamation, whereas the sovereign nation of Ukraine has been invaded by Russian military forces, and whereas the invasion of Ukraine and attacks against its people have been broadly condemned by numerous countries, including the United States. And whereas Renton and the surrounding region is home to many Ukrainian residents, adding to the diversity, vitality, and commerce of our city. And whereas our Ukrainian community members are experiencing pain, hardship, and grief due to the atrocities occurring in, in Ukraine. 
And whereas the city of Renton supports our local Ukrainian community leaders in their efforts to find ways to support those affected by this war and tragic moment in history. And whereas the Ukrainian community will be hosting a benefit concert, date to be determined, to celebrate the proud and vibrant Ukrainian culture through music and community. Now, therefore, I, Armando Pavoni, mayor of the city of Renton, do hereby proclaim that the city of Renton stands in solidarity with our Ukrainian neighbors, as well as the people of Ukraine, as they bravely defend their country, their freedom, and their lives. And we extend our deepest sympathies for those lives that have been lost. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the city of Renton to be affixed this 18th day of April, 2022, signed Armando Pavoni, mayor of the city of Renton. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilor Reference. I move the proclamation. Second. Okay, it's been, it's been moved by Councilor Reference, second by Councilor Perez, that the proclamation be adopted as read. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Okay, and tonight joining us, we have Executive Director of the Ukraine Community Center and also a uh, member of the Mayor's Inclusion Task Force, uh, Oleg Pinda. Oleg. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. You're hearing me, right? Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank, thank you, City Council and um, woman. Uh, for the proclamation, this is actually a big deal for us because um, having uh, this kind of innovation uh, that's equal to the Second World War where a lot of casualties, a lot of damages been done, where women been raped, children been killed, and what caused more than 4 million people to leave Ukraine and more than 8 million displays within the Ukraine. So it shows us big deal and support from the local city of Renton where there is a large Ukrainian communities, Ukrainian businesses. So, and all we all Ukrainian, American Ukrainian uh, people, residents of Renton appreciate for all the support and all the help that the city was pro is was and is and I believe will be providing to the greater Ukrainian community. Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. And like you said, we do have an extremely large Ukrainian community and, and we definitely support them. So thank you for joining us Mr. tonight. Yes, Councilor Mayor. Thank yeah. you. And, and thank you, Mr. Mayor, for this proclamation. Um, and thank you alike for being here. Um, as a former refugee from Vietnam, uh, very much understand the situation as refugees settling in the United States. And anything that we can do within the Renton jurisdiction in King County in the state of Washington, please reach out and let us know um, and, and take care. Thank you so much, Alec. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. And matter in fact, right now we have a new influx of refugees from Ukraine through the Mexican border and we are working hard. So there are many issues that have to be addressed, the issue of housing, of uh, medical, of mental health. And I know that I always could count on the city of Renton. Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. All right, next on our agenda is the administration administrative report. Yes, all right. Good evening, everyone. Hello, Oleg, good to see you. All right, uh, Clean the World's mobile shower unit will be available in Renton every Monday in April from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at 300 Rainier Avenue North. For more information on this service and others provided by the foundation, please visit cleantheworldfoundation.org. The emergency feed <clears throat> the Emergency Feeding Program, SOS, will be hosting a pop-up lunch event at the Sunset Neighborhood Park, 2680 Sunset Lane Northeast, from 12.30 to 2 p.m. on Tuesday, April 19th. Unsheltered and those residents with food insecurities will receive free, ready-to-eat food and drinks from Amazon Fresh. Personal hygiene kits, cleaning supplies, and socks will also be made available. Future pop-up lunch events are scheduled for the first and third Tuesdays of the month. Locations will be announced monthly. Park improvements construction for Kiwanis Park, which is over 60 years old, will begin this month. The park will be closed during the construction. Improvements will include an ADA accessible entrance off of Union Avenue, ball field upgrades with synthetic and synthetic turf and field and covered dugouts, a new restroom, a new shelter with picnic tables, a new playground with play structures for ages two to five and six to 12, and much more. 
Visit rentonlaw.gov forward slash current projects to learn more about this bond funded park renovation. Information about preventative street maintenance, traffic impact projects and road closures happening this week can be found at rentonlaw.gov forward slash traffic. All projects are weather permitting and unless otherwise noted, streets will always remain open. All right, thank you. Next, we'll open the remote audience comment period. It remains a strong intent of the city to have public comment regularly included on our agendas. Each speaker will be given five minutes to speak. You'll be called upon by a city staff member. The staff member uh, will call the speaker's name and unmute the appropriate microphone, which will send an automatic prompt to the speaker of, you've been unmuted. This is the speaker's cue that's their turn to speak. Please begin your comments by stating your name, city of residence, and the topic you're addressing. Speakers should be able to see a timer on the screen. Please finish up your comments when you see the time is close to expiring. And I believe we have three people signed up tonight to speak. Yes, Mr. Mayor, we do have three. The first person is Ernesto Podaca. Ernesto, go ahead. Thank you. Can everybody hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. All right, uh, my name is Ernesto Podaca and I live in the city, city of Retton. More specifically, I live in Maplewood Glen community. Uh, this, I'm going to speak tonight on the uh, Buffalo Head Energy Storage Project. I spoke last week, in case you're familiar, in case you've become familiar with my name. This, I, I, I'm against this project in terms of one, its location being next next to me, so I have a little bit of skin in this game. It, I, I feel the location is inappropriate. When I look at the pre-planning, uh, the pre-planning packet, it, it only it doesn't really show a lot of information on the site plan. It, you kind of infer that there's only one point of ingress and egress onto the site, which is concerning from a from a fire safety standpoint. So if that if that uh, if that access is blocked for some reason during a fire, the fire department will have really no means of fighting the fire in that particular on that site, which is concerning given that it's batteries. And we all know that you know one of the one of the uh, cautions about batteries is you don't throw them in the fire type of type of thing when you read the cautions on on a packet of of uh, ion lithium batteries. Yeah. So, and I don't see a way of making that site conducive to multiple points of entry. So that, that's, that's, that's very concerning in, in an event of, of a fire. The other issue that I have is, once again, is with the zoning of, of, of this. So we, know, we all know that it's zoned for, it's, it's zoned RC, which is, which is resource conservation. And the idea that you're gonna put something that is, That is uh, that that is for the storage of energy onto the site, which for the city of Renton, there there is no appropriate. You don't typically put something like that in, in any sort of residential zoning. You know, if you look at your your land land use charts, those are typically in industrial or some sort of commercial setting. Not not in a RZ zoning type type of scenario. So so I, I do have a, a a strong objection to the zoning. I don't object to the to the to the energy storage facility in and of itself. I just don't I just don't agree with the location, and I do not agree with the the fact that they're going into a more of a residential or a re, or even a resource conservation type zoning, which. I would assume, I would presume that they would be uh, getting a special use permit for that, and so I, I would urge uh, the planning department as well as city council and you, Mr. Mayor, to say no to this particular project once again. Uh, thank you for your time. All right, thank you. You're muted. Sorry about that. The next person that we have is Nancy Quinn. Nancy, go ahead. 
Good evening, Mr. Mayor and City Council. This is Nancy Quinn. I live in the city of Renton. I also live in the Maple Hope, Maplewood neighborhood. And I just wanted to thank everyone for their incredible response to our concern about a proposed battery, battery energy storage facility behind our homes, including several of you. It is moments like these that helps one realize how strong and articulate our neighbors are. And I can't thank everyone enough for rallying behind this cause. We know what we want. Personally, I'm exclusively focused on what we want, not on what we don't want. We want to preserve our green belt, period. I trust that the city of Renton, its mayor and city council will work with us to preserve our resource conservation land in this precious parcel of land. We want to protect, excuse me, we want to protect the wildlife that lives there. We want to protect our lifestyle in this wonderful 1940s neighborhood where we live. We are a modest people of modest means, and this has already bonded us together with a common goal. I'm so proud to know all of you, and I look forward to watching our Greenbelt triumph. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Nancy. You're muted again, Judith. Sorry. Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties here. Uh, the last person we have signed up is Selena Irving. However, I don't see Selena in our attendee list. And okay. that is all I have, Mr. Mayor. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to make sure the person that is 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 Brooks King isn't that person who signed up for public comment because I know we've had issues with people using the incorrect username or Zoom account by the name they sign up with. Is there a way that we can double check that? I believe that's what she's doing. Okay. Thank you, Mr. I believe that's what she was doing earlier. Okay, next on the agenda is the consent agenda. There's seven items. Um, would council like to pull any for separate consideration? Mr. Mayor. Councilor Prince. Seeing none, I move we adopt the consent agenda as published. Second. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilor Prince, second by Councilor Van that the consent agenda be adopt, uh, adopted as published. All in favor? Aye. 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 Close day nay. Okay, motion carries. We're on to unfinished business. Council Member Perez. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Perez. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Council Member Van. Yes, Mr. Mayor. The Transportation Committee has one committee report. Okay, hey, Transportation and Aviation Committee committee report. It's regarding an update to section 1081 of uh, one way streets of the rent municipal code. Transportation Aviation Committee recommends concurrence in the staff recommendation to adopt the ordinance updating uh, rent municipal code section 1081, codifying the conversion of certain streets or segments of streets from one way to two way between South Grady Way and North First Street, providing for severability and establishing an effective date. Mr. Mayor. Yes, Councilor Van. Um, I move that the council concur with the Transportation Committee Committee Report. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Van, seconded by Councilor Prince, that the council concur with the Transportation Committee Report. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, motion carries. Council Member Alverson. Uh, no unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Rivera. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Halloran. No unfinished business, Mr. Mayor. Okay, next up is legislation. We have one resolution and one ordinance for first reading. Okay, the resolution is regarding uh, a ratification of an uh, emergency declaration. Resolution of the City of Renton, Washington, declaring an emergency for purposes of repairing a signal pole and foundation and a signal cabinet and foundation at Renton Avenue, uh, EXT, and Taylor Avenue Northwest. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Councilor Grant. I move the adoption of the resolution as read. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilor Van, seconded by Councilor Prince, that the resolution be adopted as read. Any discussion? 
All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. All right, motion carries. All right, the next uh, is the ordinance for first reading only. This is regarding the uh, street uh, conversions, codifying the street conversions. An ordinance of the city of Renton, Washington, amending section 10-8-1 of the Renton Municipal Code, codifying the conversion of certain streets or segments of streets from one way to two way, authorizing corrections, providing for severability and establishing an effective date. Mr. Mayor? Yes, Councilor Bear. I move the ordinance be placed in second reading and second and final reading at the next council meeting. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Van, second by Councilmember Prince, that the ordinance be placed on second and final reading at the next council meeting. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Okay, right. Mr. Mr. Mayor, I have the, uh, at the beginning of the meeting, we uh, added ordinance 6061. Right. So I'd like to read that. So yes. uh, an ordinance uh, of the city of Renton, Washington, declaring a moratorium on land use, building permit and business license applications for battery energy storage systems, setting forth findings of fact in support of said moratorium, providing for severability, declaring an emergency and establishing an immediate effective date. Mayor? Yes, Councilor Prince. Move the ordinance be placed on second and final reading tonight. Second. Sorry. Okay, it's been moved by Councilmember Prince, second by Councilmember Alverson, that the ordinance be placed on second and final reading at tonight's meeting. Any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Great, I will read it again. An ordinance of the city of Renton, Washington, declaring a moratorium on land use, building permit and business license applications for battery energy storage systems, setting forth findings of fact in support of said moratorium, providing for severability, declaring an emergency and establishing an immediate effective date. Mr. Mayor. Councilor Prince. I move the ordinance to be adopted as read. Second. So. Okay, it's been moved by Councilor Prince, second by Councilor on that the ordinance be adopted as read. This is the second final reading and discussion. It takes roll call. Hey, Council Member Prince. Aye. Council Member Perez. Aye. Council Member Vaughn. Aye. Council Member Alverson. Aye. Council Member Rivera. Aye. Council Member O'Halloran. Aye. Roll call, Mr. Mayor. All ayes. Okay, motion carries. And what is the wish of the no, council? Oh, jeez, I jumped ahead. <laughs> council Member Prince. Yes, Mr. Mayor. Um, on uh, Monday, April 25th, uh, 2022, at 5 p.m., uh, the Planning Development Committee will meet by video conference. We have two items on the agenda retail pet sales update and emerging issues from CED. And for Council President McIrvin, I'm going to announce that at 6 p.m., uh, the Committee of the Whole will meet also by video conference. We have one item on the agenda, the affordable housing update. And at 7 p.m., the Council meeting will occur, and that will also be by video. All right. Thank you, Councilor Perez. No, no new business, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Okay, Councilor Matt. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Councilor Robertson. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Rivera. No new business, Mr. Mayor. Council Member O'Halloran. Yes, Mr. Mayor, I have two items of new business. The first is that on Monday, April 25th at 3.45 p.m., the Finance Committee will be meeting via video conference. We have six items on the agenda. The first is the Coulon North Waterwalk Improvement Contract Amendment. Second is Health and Safety Coordinator Position Step D higher. Third is the 2022 Carry Forward First Quarter Budget Adjustment Ordinance and 2021-22 Fee Schedule Resolution. Fourth, we have the Washington State Department of Transportation for the Spring Creek, Springbrook Creek Wetland and Habitat Mitigation Bank Agreement Amendment. Fifth is Community and Economic Development Reorganization Proposal. And sixth is vouchers. And for my other item, I would just like to uh, let the public and the council know that I had the honor of joining the Rent and Seek community yesterday 
to celebrate Vaikashi, which is the birth date of the founding of Sikhism. It was a wonderful experience that I will not soon forget. They requested I share that all are welcome to join them on any Sunday for prayer, music, and food. They only ask that participants are respectful, that both men and women cover their heads and enter the temple barefoot. I uh, personally uh, was just delighted to be there and it was very enlightening. Please feel free to reach out to me directly if you have any questions or interest in uh, my wonderful experience with them. Thank you. Thank you. What is the wish for council now? Move we adjourn. Second. Second. Okay, it's been moved by Council Member Prince, second by Council Member Alberson that we adjourn. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. All right. Good night, all. We're adjourned. Good night.